Hello and welcome to 1337 today. Um, we'll be doing a basic guide on how to get started with Backtrack 3. Um, I've been recently been learning about it, and I thought I'd uh, help others um, since I uh, enjoyed finding help myself. Um, so basically, um, the first thing you're gonna want to consider, as far as the path I'm gonna be taking, um, is gonna be on a USB uh, bootable drive. And the one thing to consider with that is going to be um, hardware compatibility. Um, on through the wiki page for uh, Backtrack on the Defensive Security website listed up here, I'll post another link. Um, there's going to be a list of all laptops um, that are um, have known issues or have worked good with Backtrack 3. So go here; it'll sh help you with any problems you may have, um, or let you know if everything's all good to go with that. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Remote Exploit website um, to download Backtrack 3. Here's the USB version, which is what you're going to want. And from there, you're also you're going to be needing some sort of software to um, mount the image that you download to be able to get some stuff off. So my choice would be PowerISO. So you basically what you do is you'd mount that through here. Um, here's how I go about that. Um, you mount it there and basically you'll be able to access the files on that that you need um, here's kinda how I do it, I just uh, explore that and basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to copy these two folders to somewhere, I just did it to my desktop and from there you want to just drag those onto your flash drive or what is going to be what I'm using and basically once you're on there um, here let me show you what I have here Let's get this going here. Um, I have it set up like this, so basically what you're going to want to do is click the boot install. Um, I already do have it set up, so I'm not going to do anything, but basically just press any key to continue. It'll do it for you, nice and simple. And from there, all you're going to want to have to, you're going to have to do is pop it in. Um, I would I recommend changing your boot order in your BIOS to have USB drive come first and you should be on your way and that's all about all I have till the next segment